are blessed in Him. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. What a powerful statement of truth the Apostle Paul makes here in Ephesians 1 and verse 3. He says, you know, let's bless God, let's praise God, let's thank God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms and spiritual realms in Christ. So this is truth. This is reality in Christ. In Christ, here's what God has done for you and for me. He has blessed us. He has already bestowed as ours. He has given to us every spiritual blessing. Every blessing that God Almighty can give, He's already bestowed it to you and me. In Christ, in the spiritual realm. So this is truth. In Christ, every blessing that God can give is already yours. He's blessed you with it. He's given it to you. So our responsibility on the earth, first of all, is to recognize the truth, to understand this truth, to embrace this truth and say, God, I thank you that you have blessed me in every blessing that you give to your people. You've blessed me with every spiritual blessing. Who, everything that God is, he releases it to us. So when we talk about spiritual blessings, when we talk about God's blessings, what is it really? It is really God bestowing himself to his people. God is healer, so he blesses his people with healing. God is provider, so he blesses his people with provision. God is a God who prospers his people, so he's the one who prospers his people. He gives them success. He blesses them in their ways. God is our shelter, our shield, our protector, so he blesses us with divine protection. So what is the blessing of God? It's really God himself bestowing himself to us. That's the blessing of the Lord. And it says here that God has blessed us with every blessing. That means all that He is, He's made available to you and me in Christ, in the heavenly realms. And what we have to do is to, by faith, receive that and walk in that in this natural world. You see, in this natural world, all of us have different places in, in this world. Some of us may be living out in a village on a farm. Some of us may be living in small towns. Some of us may be living in big cities. And what our occupation is, what our vocation is, differs depending on where we are and depending on our education and background and so on. We engage in different things. But as believers, we are all been blessed with heavenly blessings. And so we draw out of that in the context in which we live. We say, God, this is what you are to me in this world, in my context. This is the blessing as I will walk in, in my context. And so you'd receive of what God has made available to you. You walk in divine protection, divine health, and divine blessing. You walk in these blessings in wherever you are, whatever part of the world you are, whatever vocation you have, walk in the blessings God has given you in Christ. Do that. It's yours. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have blessed us with every spiritual blessing in Christ, in the heavenly realms. Help us to draw out of it and walk in it in the natural realm. The walk in the blessings you've bestowed on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.